Hi, I'm Lucy, your narrator. Thanks for joining me for another video, and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. Before we get started, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. And also please watch this video to the end to see the preview trailer and some behind the scenes photos. Join me at the old time drive-in movie theater where it feels like we're all watching this movie together. Someone please pass the popcorn. <laughs> now for our feature presentation. Pinky is a drama movie that won one Oscar. It was released in the USA in 1949 and it stars Jean Crane, Ethel Waters, and Ethel Barrymore. And some of their co-stars were William Lundigan and Nina Mae McKinney. The movie is about a light-skinned black woman falls in love with a white doctor, though he is unaware of her true race. And now for some behind the scenes trivia and tidbits. John Ford was the original director of the film, but after seeing Daly's Daryl Zanuck felt Ford wasn't connecting with the material. Zanuck called Aaliyah Kazan in New York and asked him to take over the film. Kazan felt he owed a Zanuck for his film career and agreed to do the movie without even looking at the script. He flew to Los Angeles and started filming the next Monday. And Linda Darnell showed interest in the lead role, but Daryl Zanuck noticed that her character resembled her character in Forever Amber in 1947 too much, so fearing comparison, he rejected her for the lead. And Ethel Waters was King Vidor's first choice for the lead in Hallelujah. When Waters proved unavailable, Vidor packed the unknown teenage Nina Mae McKinney, and two decades later in Pinky, McKinney appears in a decidedly supporting role with the Oscar-nominated Waters. This movie features both Gene Crane's and Ethel Waters' only Oscar-nominated performances. And Ethel Waters, who was nominated for an Academy Award for her performance in this film, was the second African-American actor in history to be nominated for an Oscar. And three years earlier, Ethel Barrymore played another bedridden and dying woman in The Spiral Staircase. And Jean Crane had given birth to her son, Michael, just two weeks prior to the start of filming this movie. Wherever you are, be yourself. What am I then? You tell me. You're the ones that set the standards, you whites. You're the ones that judge people by the color of their skins. Well, by your own standards, by the only ones that matter to you, I'm as white as you are.
like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now and be blessed.